Let me tell you something. When Kanye West is coming to take it down a notch, you're probably going way too hard. <laughs> this ain't like going to be some rah-rah motivational boost. Stuff I want to talk about, man. Um, online business. Okay, this ain't like gonna be some rah rah motivational feel good. Uh, I'm so happy. Bullshit. I mean, if you leave inspired, that's great, but that's not the goal. The goal is to actually like inform and like help you walk away with like shit you can use as soon as tonight to you know advance to help you get to your goals faster. That's some real shit, not no fucking fluff. Wag mm, motivation shit, you know. So you're gonna learn a lot. So this is champion trifecta. I think if you have this going, you can literally accomplish any fucking goal. I, I, I mean within reason. Like don't be a dick. Like you can't fly. You know you're not gonna be a sorcerer. You know you're not. You're not gonna be like your your all of your hero. Uh, I know you guys all look up to Harry Potter. Like, that's not a real thing. Today was awesome. Today was awesome. So, like, I learned a lot. Very clear, very structured. Like, no bullshit, precise, to the point. So amazing. I had a great time. I learned a lot. Um, I I would definitely say it was worth, thing, worth flying from Amsterdam, coming to here to attend this. Well, Fit Culture Life. Definitely gave me life, life changing information. It was definitely worth it. I most definitely recommend a person who is hungry, someone that who really wants it and really want to make something out of their life. I mean, the return is going to be a lot higher, so definitely worth the price. Yeah. We broke record oh, for, for a one day event. We got the numbers. Man, I wanted to stun on these fags, but whatever. All right, yeah, that's not bad. How far we got to walk? I should just this. Why am I being like this? Oh man. The event. So casual that was. The event went well. Yeah, we did pretty well. I mean, you know, filled the room up. I think everybody had a really good time. They all got they all got a lot of value. Did you get a lot of value watching? Good. Now we're gonna go to dinner, celebrate a little bit. Tomorrow we're gonna check out some sites in London. Cause it's important to reward yourself. That's a good thing to do. Work real hard. Give yourself a little reward. Get back to work. What if I just want the mains right away? When everyone else is your starter. What if I don't care about you like the tape? Is that okay? Oh no, it's fine. Alright, let's go. I just want a ribeye. Ain't nobody as fast as you do. The way I Thank you so much. I'm sorry if I'm difficult. This cow, this cow didn't die in vain. Cow will be remembered for the next 10 minutes. All sales is. This is all. It's all you need to know. Just a just. People are either moving away from pain or towards. Pleasure. That's the only reason anybody makes a decision. And all you have to do is present your product or service as a vessel that will move them away from pain faster and towards pleasure faster. Faster or at all, like if they can't figure out how to do it. All you gotta do is present your product or service as a vessel that will move them towards pleasure and away from pain. The thing is, you have to ask the right questions to find out what the pain is. Oh, why do you want to do this? Oh, because I want to get in shape. Why do you want to shape? I don't have time to get into it all right now, but like that, that's all it really is. And if you get objections at the end, you haven't convinced them that your vessel will move them away from their fucking pain and towards pleasure. Yo, oh, I'm getting all these objections. That's your fault. You shouldn't get objections. Yeah. It's your fault, 100%. <laughs> Thank you.
So I was working in the Prada store in Soho. Not Soho, New York. Not Sutton, Lutton Town, but Soho, New York. Soho 2. I was standing by the back door pretending to make sure I was working. I didn't give a fuck. And I see this like little tiny guy. And it's, no, I see this first this huge guy. And I see a little tiny fella. And I'm about to open the door for him like I always do. And like, oh shit, that's Kanye West. I'm like, you know. You know you and me a celebrity, you wanna be cool, but not me. I said, oh shit, nigga, you Kanye West! <laughs> Yo, I'm from Chicago, man, so sorry! <laughs> Kanye West told me to just turn it down. Yo, let me tell you something, when Kanye West is coming to take it down a notch, you're probably going way too hard. <laughs> and that's what happened. That, that's all I remember. Just, hey, just take it easy, bro. If it happened today, I'd have been like, 